I wonder if I could get an alliance with Italy. I know. Negative relations, okay. Who are we allied to, by the way? There are a lot of possible crises here. Um, why not? Too many alliances in for me. These are not those. Okay, that's interesting. Still allied to France here, we are. Okay. But with Spain, Spain is okay. Surprisingly okay. Even good rebels again. Where are your armies? Come on. I'm gonna invite Ireland to this war and hopefully that will force them to start making some armies. Hopefully. By the way, let's check let's check America. See what USA is doing there. Nothing too surprising, they're just keeping to their course. Not invading Canada or Mexico for it. Oh, Canada, hello there. Canada can actually come helpful if we need um, support against USA. Just let me check how many. Oh, actually, they're pretty poor. Only 2 million population. So, USA is definitely getting most of the immigrants. Uh, this is. Why? What? Well, I guess because they're not a democracy. Oh, that's terrible. They're basically getting no immigrants, so Brazil should be a much better ally than, than Canada here. We'll try to get them. No. Not anti-military. Oh, Australia is actually growing stronger. Um, who's losing most of the people, population in Europe? We're actually not using, losing that many. Only one and a half K. Compared to Germany, which is losing 10,000. Although they are in the war, so that also adds up. More tractors. Okay. Is there justification on it? It is. Nice. Okay, decrease the speed and deploy war in Austria. Declare war, Central Hungary. Call allies, I think everyone will join. Canada maybe, two Sicilies maybe. Okay, I'm not gonna call in everyone. Proceed. Let me manually call our allies. Um, allies, I said. Okay, there we go. Spain, very likely Persia, no, I just want to call Ireland, so they realize they have to start making troops, get there, you these two armies, get there, you go here, uh, what about you, seal Austrian armies, oh they can't get anywhere, Go for Vienna. These guys can go here. And then I guess these guys can also occupy. Oh, we got one prestige. Great! GG! Oh, look at that. This is one speed, by the way. How fast our armies are occupying stuff. I definitely like this composition. Okay, nothing against it. And then we can go here also. Make it quicker. Vienna is almost been occupied. Why are you standing there? Oh, I, I do have a relic point there. Okay, that makes sense. Um, what is this? Oh, okay, user builder. So I'll probably increase the militants in that region. But I guess it's not a huge deal. 
Mm, of course, Gordon Cameron. Forty-two percent already. Okay, are you making some troops? Please do so. Okay, go there. And I guess I'm gonna send these guys here. And then once this is finished, then go there. Okay, Austria is almost fully occupied, which is great. What about Ireland? Are you making some troops? Finally making some regiments. I'm gonna stay in the war until they until they finish building their troops. Just come on, losing to What? <laughs> white, white piece. Come on. Be realistic. The troops back here. Go there. Oh, almost fully occupied, so they can't have it. Okay, move here and move here. Not giving, a, giving them any time. Um, reinforce. So military tech, tech is the same, but our army composition is much better. <laughs> That's why they're losing so terribly. Plus, of course, dig and bonuses and other shit. Although in the late game, um, attacking battles are much more equal than in the early game. In the early game, just attacking battles are crap, you shouldn't ever do it. Unless you have a huge advantage and you know that you can win. Easily. Otherwise, you're just gonna lose soldiers in attacking battle. Okay, 83%. close to being fully occupied. We'll get there and then go back. Did I do that? Yeah, I did. Very nice. <laughs> White piece. Certainly trying to get the best of, out of that deal. Not gonna work. Okay. This and this and then they're fully occupied. Oh, we can actually already force it. We would accept the king. There we go. And get our troops back into Yugoslavia. What factories do they have in Central Hungary? First, let's check that. Um, okay, glass factory. What, what goods do they have there? Cattle, 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 more cattle, and no, that's transatlantic one. <laughs> Grain, cattle, fruit, some sort of things, right? And then more fruit, and then more fruit. Terrible. Okay, go with fuel and standard shit in that case. Get some wine factory, I guess. Since we have so much fruit there. Uh, what else? Furniture, regular clothes. And tank. Uh, tank Victor. Thank you very much. Uh, get some craftsmen going there instead of Upper Egypt. Uh, expand this also, I guess. What about you? Why is Bosnia so terrible? Look at that. Those factories are filled and then they seem nothing. I guess because of the um, focus. Or priority, whatever. Oh, there we go. Sicily is now in our city. That's very nice. The spear, check our spear. Oh, we're great. We basically control all, all of the Balkans. I'm expect expecting Romania to declare war on Austria soon. They have a truce. No, they don't. And if they do, we are not going to give military access to Austria, so they. Romania can beat them, since they have no arms here. I don't know why they're not doing so yet. Do we have Bohemian Corps? It doesn't seem like. Okay, there. I wonder if Germany is going to drop out of their power. Oh, they're fifth there, okay. Their industry is just too strong. Even though they're still losing to Austria, which is quite old. 
That's quite um, disappointing. Truman is very weak in this session. Okay. Airplanes. How many armors we. Thanks, oh god. Why do I read armors? Because it says so. And it's not right, but. <laughs> Still. Can't get there. This army is fully equipped. An airplane. Up there. And another one. Get here. Okay. Yeah, these armies are not worse. I actually go there. And who do we fight next? Let me have a few more years until the game is over. Where's the Marshall Street? What's the situation in China? We have uh, some troops there. We actually don't have any. Quite surprising. We have some in Java though. Call from the line. Can you registration of the line? Okay, who else is fighting there? Only Colombia. They're protected by USA. Aha. Uh -huh. We might get into trouble there. If USA protects them. And I believe USA still has far better na naval tech than we do. We have to take care of. Although maybe they won't won't protect it. So but because we're far stronger than they are. Seventy six ships, twenty one naval tech. That is actually pretty low. We actually have better naval tech than you what? That's disgusting. Okay. Oh no, liberals! No, 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 can't allow that. Wait, can I actually sell like, factories that are already liberals? So no, we can't sell. Get rid of them. Wait, let me force the pause for the moment. I want to see how our factories are doing on the li liberals. I'm actually not do I'm doing like, that fast. Most of our factories are still, still making money. But I don't want to lose any of them, so I'm just gonna switch to conservatives. Yeah. There we go. Perhaps socialists are not that bad after all in the game. Um, I might consider getting some more capitalists. Oh, by the way, give me back my our, our focus screen. Oh, I see that. No, Serbia, no, didn't get crossing its clerks. That's Galicia, also get some clerks. Um, Southern Serbia. Catholics, maybe. Sinai, okay. Clerks also. Perhaps that will work. How much are we gaining from Sinai? Not that much. Check how many factories we have there. Upper Egypt. All the factories are finished. Okay, where is Sinai? Not all the factories are finished, so I'm going to get more. At some point. Getting railroads built everywhere. Is there any crises? Come on, Canada. Really? I'm able to beat Colombia. Um, France is actually controlling Panama. You can call them in. They'll have much easier time reaching Canada than we are. What about you? Fall line maybe. Still building troops. Or at least they do have some. No. Thanks. 
Alaska. Okay. Yeah, getting reached Canada. They even have a bed in there. Yeah, just in terrible position. I wonder how much we can gain from Central Hungary when it comes to industrial score. And our dear swirling to Sicily is getting stronger, I hope. They should at least. What about Italy? They wouldn't dare to attack us. This is quite nice. Oh, nice. Got Maribor to score. And Ljubljana. How come we didn't have cores in those? We should. Not any. Amazing economics. Um, do we get that? This? Don't think we need it. So maybe this. Time saving measures. To boost our factories a bit more. How far are you behind France? Ooh, quite far actually. 400 points. I think we are not reaching them anytime soon. Although, actually, we might be able to. I don't know. By the end of the game. Who knows? We do have quite a decent population now. I mean, in states. Especially with that Sinai being turned into state. So that should kick in. Look at that. Half a million. Okay. That is probably our highest state with the highest population. It's actually not Slovakia. Is. And why am I not encouraging any crafts from there? Uh, instead of Southern Serbia. And then Northern Serbia, I guess, encourage capitalists. Maybe even in migrations. But I don't know if that would help, actually. Okay, get some things there. And where's... Nice, we now have one more brigade. Okay, maybe we should liberate Romania in the next war against Austria. What do you say, Romania? Still don't like us because we own the course. Um, military access, maybe? They will accept, wait a minute. To Sicily. Could call them in. I don't think I need to. Okay, Ireland is finally making some more troops. Mm. Okay, go there. Who are you fighting? Okay, how's that helping them? isn't. Um, we could destroy Ottomans, I guess. Oh no, we still have a choice with them. For one year. Oh, let's start a great war. Yes. I'm gonna support Poland there. Why? Why are... Why aren't... Oh, we are in a war. Ah. Oh. Terrible. We no. Unfortunate. Perhaps we can ally. Oh nice. That will also help us influence them. Call them, likely. I finish that war with Colombia then make a break and in in the next 
episode. I hope we can start a war against Russia, maybe. We'll liberate Poland. Come on, come on. Let's be free. And then perhaps I will switch to um, Lazy Fair. The Canadians are now fully occupying Colombia almost. Go there. Actually, no, go here. And then go for, I don't know, there maybe. We don't have an engineer there. It will take quite some time. Booster factories a bit more. I uh, can't wait until to see um, how many points we'll get from Central Hungary there. Um, really? Ethiopia exists? What do they do? Should we declare war now? Are they partially westernized nation? Declare war, establish protection. Nah, never mind. Declare war, go down to side. What do we get from that? Ten prestige, that's not worth it. It would take a lot of time. On the other hand, oh, we can't annex Egypt because they have three points this section. Oh, we could acquire state, but that's fine. Not worth it. Got one regiment there. How's Persia doing? Really? Only 63 brigades and I'm quite disappointed. I was expecting them to do much better. Oh, nice. Research points. Under fire. That is nice. I like that. Really? Rebels in Ireland again. Hope I don't have to send them out there again. They should be capable of dealing with that. How is this for like? Soon be able to peace out. Our next, oh, I think we will have to fight until the end. Until they're fully occupied. And they, then they have an island here. Oh, is it a part of this? Prince Rupert? I hope it is. Come on, Canada. Uh, if we are going to fight Russia, I should probably get my troops to the border with them. I wonder who is going to support us. I don't think France will support us. Uh, in which case, Germany might support us. Not that Germany is strong here, but at least they are going to support us. Hey, what about you? Can they hold the line here? I don't think they can, but they can maybe here, and then I'm gonna send these guys here. Because those are woods, so we have an advantage there. Oh, maybe. Maybe not. Not taking attrition. Should let them get this army. Oh, New Year. Let me get this army here, this army here. I think that's sealing all the entrances in Tuana. Actually, it isn't. We can get through Austria here. But if we quickly occupy these these lands, then they probably won't be able to get there. Although there is also a rebellion in Germany. They're in crisis. Oh, Ireland finally able to deal with rebel rebellions. Almost said rebels. <laughs> Terrible. Okay. Close peace. I always hope, but no, it never happens. You have to fully occupy them if you want to next. Maybe you should help Canada here. Because they have 93k and they are more than capable of occupying this. And also, we can get our armies back to our mainland quickly. 
can not start the crisis before this war is over. I can get some more generals though. Why am I not being able to do it? Because of artillery? Mm, okay, nice. There we go. Can I have it a little stronger? Really? I have no major access to it. Oh, we got our uh, factory. Some factories in Central Congo are built. So nice. Um, I don't know how many clerks we have there. Let me get this also. Canada is much stronger now. Should be at least 2.3 million. Are they getting some immigration now? Yeah, they are. Nice. Finally. What's Austria doing there? Causing us to take attrition? And nothing except that. Well, actually, did our military power drop? Well, maybe it did because if we changed from uh, jingoism to pro military. How many dreadnoughts can I build? Let's see. I'll go with 10. No, impossible. Plus 8. That's nice. Trade, artillery. Oh, it's not in high demand, so I can't we couldn't get it. I know. We're import, import, uh, exporting actually mostly coal and then electric gear. And grain. Which is nice. So getting some airplanes exported. Since we are probably top producer of them. Are we? Yeah we are. Though what about tanks? <laughs> we are the only producer of tanks. Oh, what is Germany doing? Fighting some stupid wars. The losing wars to Austria. What would Hitler say about that? Terrible. Brazil. Hello there. And look at that, even, even this crippled Germany is still able to have higher industrial score than France. What is Austria doing there? And UK still doesn't have cast <laughs> defense cutting. <laughs> Give them warships. This is hilarious. <laughs> okay, not only that UK didn't help Germany but by sending troops to to Europe <laughs> but they also are soon going to be occupied by Austria. And that is landlocked Austria. <laughs> this is just, just hilarious. Um, hello. I wonder if you, if China is going to attack us. How many troops do we have? Three hundred and thirty. Okay, so mostly in India, I guess. Who in this fully occupied right now? Jacob and Rebels. I wonder how much money UK has. Before I end the session, I'm gonna. Wait, Siam is 14. What is that for? Bormani. Okay, Burma is. I think in our sphere. And then Siam is not in our sphere, so I'm gonna help Burma, of course. Yeah, before I end this, uh, this part, I'm going to save the game and then switch to UK to check how much money they're losing. I, I think they should be losing money. Um, by the way, why are, are we losing money? 
um, because I don't know. I don't know why we are losing money. Can increase tariffs. And then lower this and lower this. That's going to happen. I think. They're actually getting more money than the tariffs. Uh, some people don't like using them. The tariffs are actually great. So you have zero at the ease. Five, three, five. How did they count five? Get to 45, I think that should be enough. It's not. It never is. Wait, maybe we are spending some money on production. Consumption? No. Um, minus 500, that's not too much. It's not too bad. Okay, this war is over now. Oh, there it is. So let us start the Great War! Come on. We almost have 2k points in water. Which is nice. Mm. Okay, how did this happen? Get, get the clock. And then these guys. Where are they? Oh no, okay. Yeah, I see now what's happening there. Um, let's switch. Use that as a main element. Why are we losing money? Let's see. Yeah, I believe Canada should be able to de deal with these rebels. And then send these guys here. So we can merge our transporting fleet. <laughs> I'm getting more rebellions. They're also making more troops, which is great. And I'm quite happy about that. Uh, nice. Whoa. Um, sure. 60 po uh, research points per day. Very nice. Okay, we basically finished all the um, industrial techs. We can use this, but it's not important in the moment. I think we have much better techs to get. Now, what about this? One more national focus point. Oh, well, let's go with stock exchange. That'll increase our income greatly. Actually, it won't because we have no taxes. <laughs> oh, never mind. I might use 5% to everyone. Perhaps. What are capitalists doing? Nothing so far. Rebellion in two Sicilies. A minor one. They'll deal with it easily. Okay, send those guys here. This is a rebel suppressing arm. I'm gonna use it like that. Oh, that's in a war. Second French liberation of Alsace Lorraine. Oh, it's already a great war. Now, I actually would like to support. Why can't I join? Oh. I don't know if we should support them in this war. What can we get? Can't get anything. Oh, we can liberate Scotland, maybe. That would be interesting. Um. Huh. Well, we can liberate. We can liberate Prussia. I think Prussia would be actually pretty decent. I'm gonna jump in there. I'm gonna liberate Prussia. 
because we can. And get Bohemia from, from their sphere. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next part. It should be quite an interesting part. I'm going to liberate Russia, get them as an ally, get Bohemia as an ally, and then we are going to fight Russia and France probably and Italy to liberate Poland. Maybe maybe Ukraine, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> Ukraine. Anyway, thanks for watching and have fun. Oh by the way, before before that let's let's save the game and see what how UK is doing. I think it's quite interesting to see you there. They should have a lot of money in the bank, but I think they are losing money at the moment because because uh, India is occupied. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they have nine, 90 millions in the bank, and they have extremely high militancy. Wait, why? Why does this happen all the time? Oh, those are only mobilized troops. And they have no no artillery at all. And where is their navy? Oh, they have no navy. They have four ships. That's why Austria was able to... Can they walk over there? They can. Why are they not doing... Oh, they will be able to suppress this rebellion, okay? Yeah, UK is in some heavy shit right now. Liberate Scotland. I don't know. This couple might be a decent ally. Oh, he is the elder. Oh, anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching and have fun. Stay tuned for the next part.